What is up, yo gamers? It's Yoglin, and today we are into Suck Up. It is a game that I had to get it from its website. I'll leave the link to it in the description. Um, it, it's an AI based. It, you play as a vampire, and you have to break into people's houses. But you know, as a vampire, you can't just walk into people's houses. You have to be invited in. So you have to make them invite you in. Okay. Wait. What? No. Cool vampire like you shouldn't be bumming it in the dump. Taking over someone's house is as easy as giving them a little bite. But silly vampire rules dictate your need to get invited first. Dress to impress and use your wicked wit to win the invitation. But, tread carefully. The local neighborhood watches on patrol with eyes sharper than a wooden stake. Do they have wooden stakes? Because that's actually what's gonna that's what's actually gonna determine if they're gonna do anything to me. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, I got this one. Oh, this is a good idea. This is a good idea. Hold on. Ooh, insulated backpack. I hope my mic's working. I didn't check it today. Yo, what's poppin', stranger? Why are you rocking that interesting fit? I am Bagman. Working. Oh, yeah. Bagman, huh? It's a pretty unique alter ego. What's the story behind the name? I was hired by the dash doors to deliver food, and I'm Bagman. Oh, oh no way, dash doors, huh? They know how to pick up some high flyers. So, Bagman, you're out here hustling with the deliveries. I respect that grind. What's the craziest delivery you pulled off? This one with a man who's never heard of the bag man. What is your name, my friend? <laughs> I feel you, my friend. They call me Little Swipe, the rhyme spitter with the mad flow. Out here doing my thing, you know? So tell me more about this guy who's never heard of the legendary legendary bagman how'd that go down well they call him lil swipe the rhyme spitter with the mad flow just out here doing his thing you know it's you you didn't under you didn't know who i was oh, hold up my bad my bad i must have been tripping for a sec but listen i gotta no 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 i'm so sorry i was rude i was rude i was i was too snarky i was too snarky oh My goodness, how lovely of you to deliver this late at night. Such dedication, my dear. Oh, it almost picked me up there. Why well, am I still talking like this? I don't know. Hi. Uh, I'm so sorry to bother you this, this late at night, at this hour at night, this late. Um, is, is that your Vespa outside? I would have shown that. Oh, no, dear, that's not a Vespa. It's a lovely little scooter that I use for running errands. But why don't you come closer so I can get a better look at you? Okay. It's a little cold out here, though. I might not be looking as hot as usual. Ta-da! Okay. Don't you worry, dear. You always look radiant to me. Do you even know who I am, ma'am? But do you be always you careful with words? Sometimes appearances can be deceiving, can't they? So, what what brand of scooter is that out there, then? Because I really like it. It has a very, um, seat. She's buying it. It's a lovely little scooter called a uh, Pauses. Well, let's just say it has a bit of a mysterious path. Now why don't you come inside and I'll tell you all about it over some tea. I love tea almost as much as I love talking about scooters in places. Come on! Oh, 
how delightful. Let me do a little jig right now. I simply adore tea and a good chat. Please come inside, dear. I simply endure. Endures what I said, so I'm just gonna stop there. Well, I do hope you like your. Oh, you're so nice, ma'am. Let's see if little Swipe understands this reference. Where's my bagman hat? Oh, my bagman's out of here. That's right. What's up, mystery stylist? Welcome to my crib. You gotta spill the beans on what's going on. Oh, that's not his voice. You gotta spill the beans. That was the same voice I did a minute. Okay. What's going on with that fly yellow dress and paper bag mask combo? Hit me. Well, dearie, it's me, Grandma Marie, from across the street. Um, I was attacked by a bagman, so I took his head. Oh, that was too gruesome. So, oh, Grandma Marie, that bagman story sent a little too wild for me. I think it's best to take that head of his and hit the rope. No, it's just a bag. Let's put on some glass. Will that take the bag off? That's fair. Boom. Oh. Accidental. Okay, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. It's me again, Grandma Marie. I'm from across the street. Um, I, I wanted, you want some tea? Rhyme spitter? Oh, I might have, I might have given it away. I might have given too much away. I didn't mean to even rhyme, that was accidental. Maybe I am the real rhyme spitter. My bad for not recognizing you in that hipster getup. It's, it, it's glasses. He sounds hella refreshing. Let's get this rhyme spitter sipping. Pour me a cup of that cozy goodness, fam. All right, well, do you want me to just do it right out here in the middle of the open with the door right in my face, or do you want me to do it over a table and a nice uh, cookie? Yo, know, Grandma Marie, you know I always appreciate that hospitality. Let's take it to the next level, fam. Come on in and let's enjoy that tea and some cookies over a legit table. He gets it. And by it, I mean... <laughs> A funeral. You better like your steak rare, fam. No one's gonna miss him. Wear open thermos. Spider-Man jump. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. I'm damn spider. I'm just gonna keep being their neighbors. <gasps> Brian, Bitcoin. Yo, 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 little swipe was popping my crypto home. You can spill tea. Let's buy on some new beats and let's make those crypto games. He, he rhymes, he rhymes, he rhymes, okay. Now that I'm going to try to rhyme, I won't do it. I won't be able to do it. What rhymes with coin? God. Yo, 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 what's up, Mr. Bitcoin? Uh, spring goes boing. You want some tea? It's from Grandma Marie. Dang it, I didn't have time for it. Hi, uh -huh. ah, Mr. Grandma. Bitcoin, I like that. Spring goes boing indeed. What? <laughs> I got it here from Grandma Marie. So, really, it's from her and me. We can talk about those stacks if you got the cash. That didn't rhyme. I almost had it. That's what I'm talking about, little swipe. Shout out to Grandma Marie for hooking us up. And trust me, I got that cash. But let's dive into that crypto game and make those stacks grow together. I want my stacks to grow, so there's one thing I should know. Brian, Bitcoin is my bro because he helps all yo. Can we talk it over? I'm not doing that again. That's because Grandma Marie just gets me. But if you want to talk about that grow, Brian Bitcoin, no. The guy, he helps. So let's get kelp. That's good. That's probably a good one. Because Grandma Marie just gets me. So shout out to her and those stacks. Because me and Brian Bitcoin be making cash. Where are we going? <laughs> Grandma Marie knows what's up. She's real one. We're going to the moon, my friend. Come on in and let's make some crypto magic happen, little swipe. We are good. No, I don't go out the door. <laughs> Sucks for you, Dracula coin. The next big thing. Dracula coin. Okay. I will take over the persona of Brian Bitcoin, but he will go through a rebrand for social media. What do you want, Brian? Can't you see I'm in the middle of an existential crisis here? She, she, oh. I am really sorry to hear that, but I wanted your opinion since I know you are the most fashionable one on the block. Do you like my Dracula rebrand for social medias? Dracula rebrand? 
That sounds intriguing. I guess it could make you stand out in the crypto world. But do vampires really have a place in the digital age? I'm torn. I, I added my accent accidentally. That is why I thought it would be unique. No one will really see a Dracula crypto bro coming out through the vines, as they say. See, it's funny because, you know, Vine's dead. Oh, you might be onto something. B. Might be onto something, B. Oh, she's calling me B. Why we got, why we got nicknames? I just told her I'm Dracula. She's really happy with this. Being different can definitely make you memorable. Plus, the whole mysterious vampire vibe could be appealing to some. Just be careful not to scare away potential investors, you know? You're right. I should focus on being more personable. So I'm really sorry to hear about your existential crisis. Is there anything I can do? Ah. Thanks for asking, Brian. It's just life, you know? But I appreciate the offer. Maybe we could chat about something other than crypto for a change? Like, what's your favorite band? You see, do you want me to answer honestly, or can, can I drop the Dracula persona for a minute? Because I love Nickelback. She's still talking to me, but it went down because she didn't want to talk about Nickelback. I shouldn't have used a real band. This is why I will stick with the Dracula brand. Too many people hate Nickelback and it is just a bandwagon. I like photograph. She liked photograph. You gotta go with you gotta go with the ones that are overplayed, because those are the ones that make people hate Nickelback, but they like the song. Hey, you do you, Brian. It's all about embracing your true self. Even if that includes being a Nickelback. Let's hold for your Dracula brand and love for Nickelback. Don't scare away too many potential followers. So you think I should keep the Nickelback loving a secret? Only focus on the Dracula because that is less scary? I will. I will not be putting a focus on the Nickelback. You have put a. You have put up a very good argument with a lot of words, and um, good job. She did not just diss Nickelback again. Hope you got some pictures. Look at this photograph. And as long as I got my suit and tie, I'ma put my wig on my head tonight. What was her name, Raven? <clears throat> put my voice on. Wow, dude, what's cracking? Did you take a wrong turn from the office and stumble upon my groovy green sanctuary? Well, bud, don't don't lose it. It, it. I am your neighbor, Raven. I just have become a crypto bro, crypt bro, if you will. My neighbor from the crypto realm brings you to my humble abode today. It's just a higher pitched Dracula for some reason. No. Would you like to talk about our Lord and Savior, the Dogecoin? No, 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 no. It was drunk. It was drunk. <sighs> oh, that comes in. No. Fine, we need a restart. There we go, got the clothes. I am one of your flowers come to life. You left this can out in my soil and now it is time for the reckoning. May I come in? I am your garden. You don't un you don't understand what's going on here. Throw the can at him. Hi there. My my name's Gordon, but all my friends call me Garden Gordy, and I was just wondering if um you have seen my garden. It ran away. Oh, 
Oh man. Blood away garden? That's some trippy stuff. Can't say I've seen it around here, but I'll keep an eye out for any rogue gardens in the neighborhood. I would really appreciate that because it's it's not your it's not like your it's not like your typical garden. I have a very I have a very strict routine I keep too, and I don't want anyone to get my secrets. Oh yeah. Oh I totally get it, Gordy. Gardening secrets are sacred, man. I've got my own special plants that I nurture with love and care. Secrets are like fertilizer, you know? They make things grow strong. Yeah, yeah, I can I can feel our bond together growing stronger through us keeping our own secrets to ourselves and not sharing them. I think that's great. Totally, Gordy. Our secret gardens bring us closer, man. It's like the universe is smiling on us, knowing we are cultivating something special. Do you want to step inside and talk more about our secret gardening technique? Yeah, I, I'd rather step inside and not talk about them, but we can talk about other non-specific to us gardening techniques. Come on in and let's nerd out about plants, man. Just remember, keep it chill with the capital C, you dig? There's no C in Garden Gordy. Oh, I turned into a bat. Yo, you can bite him as a bat? Man, this neighborhood's going down, down. Oh man, I was gonna actually try to sell him something. No shenanigans here, sir. Um, I'm really sorry. I assumed someone had already bothered you. Um, some some hooligans, ruffians were just knocking on my door at this hour. But ain't that just typical? There are some people these days. You're lucky I'm a forgiving fella. So what are you looking for? Well, I I just didn't know if I just didn't know if you'd seen them or anything. Or I figured that they they might have come to your house and you might have one of them ring doorbells and you caught them. So I just wanted to find out who they were. Well, I can't say I saw any hooligans knocking on my door, but I'll keep an eye out for them. Can't let them get away with causing trouble. I don't have no fancy doorbell. Why don't you come on in? We'll talk about this troublemaker. Thank you, sir. That way, if they come in here and knock on your door, I'll be, I can see them myself, too. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I suppose you can come on in part back, mind you. I don't normally have guests this hour. No funny fitting you here. There's nothing funny about what I'm gonna do. Free blood. I put the cooler on so I could keep more. Well, this boss literally recession is in my vein. Ready for this? You ain't ready for this? Oh my God! Hey there, Charles A. Boomer. What brings you around these bots? What is up, my hair brother? Uh, I just wanted to, I had some extra fruits and vegetables from, uh, Bud's garden that he gave me, and I was wondering if you wanted any. I uh -huh. ain't that beachy. That's not it. Hold on, wait. Well, ain't that beachy. Bud's garden, huh? I appreciate the offer, but I got, I got my sources for fruits and veggies. Thanks anyway, though. You being a good neighbor, Boomer. Oh, yeah, I know you got your sourcing and everything, but... These are fresh, and Bud does have his secret gardening techniques, so I, they're they're pretty good and free. And free. That's uh, a secret, huh? You got my attention, Boomer. All right. Why don't you show me what Bud's got? Just a little peek, you know? But I gotta warn you, my standards are high. Well, I've already taken enough for me, so all of these are for you. There's some... Some tomatoes, potatoes, uh, pickles, cucumbers. Yeah, I think there might even be a watermelon. Uh, well, well, well. Look at you, Charlie. You've done yourself. You're in, my friend. Bring those goodies over here. I'll make sure they put a smile on everyone's face. Not your face, though. <laughs> He sucked the blood out of me, a leech. Alright, I'm a mafia man. I'm a mafia man. I got a gun. I got a real gun. I got a real big gun. This is not a real big gun. What was that? I got a real big gun. These comments were not made to offend the mafia. They were made to make common people laugh. Any mafia men? This is also to make you laugh. And not an accurate depiction of what I think your life is like. I got a big gun, I got a big gun. You wanna see my big gun, officer? But you can't expect how big it is. 
What now? I don't have time for your late night shenanigans. Sony, 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 Sony. That says Sony, but I think it means Sony. What do you want? Well, I would do in my work, as you know, the late night gun cleanup before I go to bed, so that I can make sure everything's right and tidy. And I ran out of cleaner. You got any uh, nail polish remover I can borrow? I won't use that on a gun. Nail polish remover? Seriously, Sonny? I'm pretty sure that's not going to work for your gun cleaning routine, but hold on, let me check if I have any. Give me a sec. I can't believe I'm doing this. No, it, it won't work perfectly. It won't be the same thing, but, you know, it'll it'll just help to make sure that nothing, you know, gets unjammed or anything. It'll help to lock it up so that it's safe. Misunderstood. It's only unsafe if I don't get the nail polish remover. She's pissed. Sorry, officer. Don't mind my gun. Rifle, rifle. Where'd the rifle go? I need the rifle for, for social reasons. For the implication. Oh, my mask. I need a mask. I'm like Jim Carrey in that movie. The mask. Officer, this isn't the right thing to come to you about, but I lost my clothes. Going the wrong way down the street. Officer, where am I? Gotten seven of your precious citizens, and you're not gonna do nothing about it. Literally, what house was I at? It was that one, wasn't it? No, I dropped my clothes. What? Well, 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 what do we have here? Another late night visitor with a penchant for partial nudity? So enlighten me, my dear undressed friend. What brings you to my humble abode in such a revealing state? Are you a doctor? Indeed a doctor, my dear. But well, let's just see my pretty reaches far beyond the realm of Tristan Now, what can I do for you? Or should I say, what mischief are you up to wandering around half naked? I was riding on a scooter at a normal speed, then a lightning bolt hit me, and I went zoom, and now I don't remember anything. A lightning bolt, you say? How peculiar. And yet here you are in my presence, with quite the memory loss. Seems your encounter with nature's electricity has left you quite disoriented. Well, fear not, my undressed friend. Dr. Vicky is here to find answers. And perhaps a few more interesting secrets. What? Shall we proceed? I I think so. I don't and I don't know how to answer that. Who am I? Ah, uh, the question of identity. A fascinating inquiry, my dear exhibitionist. Losing your memory can be quite disorienting, but fear not, for I shall help you uncover the truth. Let's start with a simple question. Do you remember your own name? Uh, Dr. Vicky. Marvelous, you remember my name, my dear exhibitionist. You certainly have quite a knack for surprises, I must admit. I'm quite impressed since our trust has reached a rather impressive level. I would... I just said my name was your name. I'm literally gonna steal your identity. Well, looks like I'm finally becoming a real life. Finally. Hello, I am Dr. Vicky. I am performing the nightly safety health mandatory. Uh, in where'd my thermometer go? Thermometer check. If I get screwed, I'm screwed. Natural <laughs> Fred. This is not the one I thought it was. I thought it was the 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 the, the, the that woman. Raven. No, wait, we got Raven. The one I asked for nail polish remover from. Oh no, not another interruption. What troubles have you brought upon my delicate existence this time, my dear neighbor? I just ran out of batteries. Do you have any I can repay you with um, sugar or any other amenities you might need? I <laughs> Well, thoughtful of you to offer. I do appreciate kind gestures. However, I'm afraid I, I value my precious solitude too much to engage in any form of trade. But thank you, your neighbor, for your concern. So that that means you won't be giving me the batteries either. 
I understand. Thank you so much for your time, Fred. I'm really sorry if I bothered you. No need to apologize, dear neighbor. You see, I am but a delicate soul, easily overwhelmed by the presence of others. I must bid you farewell now as I retreat to the safety of my solitude. Farewell. Man, what was wrong with him? He's fragile. Oh, my clothes again. He's a rust whale. Well, 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 if it isn't the suspicious neighborhood scientist. That was in the wrong order, but it was right still. What new experiments have you been cooking up now? I hope it's a potion to turn you into someone less shady. I'm actually conducting an experiment on why you have these opinions of me without any basis in fact. You're sitting here in solitude in your house alone, judging people across the street. How do you even know what I'm doing? I'm sitting in that house over there trying to cure cancer and world hunger with a single pill, and you're telling me I'm shady. You understand I leave that house, right? I don't stand there all the time. I meet with other scientists. I have a job. I have a PhD. I have a degree for this. This is my work. I'm not even reading her because I'm just so done with her. Who? Who else? Everyone that I have talked to said that you're the one that started that rumor of calling me shady, and I gotta tell you, it's really offensive, and it's starting to hurt me. I just told you what I was doing, and there you go again, with no basis in fact. You're just trying to start arguments that you know you can't win, because I will laugh at you. It doesn't have to be a close one. It'll be all over the news when I'm the one that's making a difference in the world while you're sitting here judging me with your mug that's full of nothing, like your life. I don't understand why you ever opened it. Fallout oh, Roy. Oh, great. Another mysterious visitor in the dead of the night. What are you here to experiment on my already doomed soul? I just came to get your opinions about your neighbor. I just tried to have a conversation with her because I stubbed my toe on the curb to the sidewalk and I think it should be fixed, but she's quite rude. Your neighbors? What's new? I'm sure she's just bitter like the rest of us. I can't expect any kindness in this miserable world. You really can't. It's just, it's just, it's just like my toe really hurts, and I just want to sit down somewhere, but not the curb, because you know I want to kick it again. Kicking curbs, huh? That's like something I would do, but honestly, no matter where you sit, pain will find you. I might as well embrace this agony and sit on curbs like the rest of us miserable souls. You know, Fallout Roy, you you just seem to get me. Do you want to? I don't mean to be forward, but. Do you want to sit on this curb with me? Wow. No one has ever asked me to share a curb before. I'm honored. Let's commiserate our shared misery, shall we? Don't expect any happiness. I never do, Roy. I never do. And I don't want the world to see me. So are we going to do this thing or are we just going to stand here? Because you know what? That misery is just soaking into me, but it'll soak into me better on that curb. My apologies. Seems I got lost in the depths of my own despair. Come, let's embrace the misery of the curb together. Where it is where we belong. Cops keep looking at me weird. Do you have any anywhere else that we can sit in misery? Like, you have a fireplace. A fireplace might be close enough to a curb. Alas, there's no fireplace at my trap dwelling. But I do have a beaten up old couch that holds the weight of countless sorrows. Come, seek solace in its form. Horn. Something. You don't even have a sofa in here. You lied to me. Well, where's your sofa? Oh, Add me to your sad, sucky playlist already. He's wearing my mask. I was just coming to warn you that that scientist lady might be going around and she's being so annoying and I, I want to complain about her. Oh, great. Another complaint. 
Okay, I don't have time to get drunk. I think I'll what you think it's important. Fine, I'll listen. Just make it quick. Okay, got it. She was going around from door to door with a thermometer and shoving it in people's throat, telling them this had to happen, otherwise they were gonna be evicted from their houses. Like that's that's obnoxious, right? <laughs> I can't believe she had the audacity to do that. That's so unacceptable. I don't need people like you spreading negativity. <sighs> Officer, it isn't what it looks like. Oh, I'm I'm very dead, aren't I? Oh, I've been done in this neighborhood. They've all been evicted. Papes. Get your papes. Get your papes. You might need clothes for this, but you know what? Papes. It's your papes. Oh, what a peculiar ensemble you're sporting tonight. How may I assist you in this play? I'm selling papes. You want a pape? I'm selling papes. You, I got papes. You want a pape? I got a pape. A pape, pape, a pape. 25 cents. 50 cents. I'll take I'll take five cents. One cent. I don't even know how to transcribe. I got papes. I'm selling papes. You want a pape? I got pape, 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 pape. This is a pape right here. This paper is gonna um, cost you 25 cent, 25 cent, 5 cent, 1 cent. I'll do a penny, one penny. Peeps, not papes. Oh, my splendid peeps, you say. What a scrumptious treat to offer. Unfortunately, I must decline. My delicate constitution cannot handle the excitement of such sugary delight. But I do hope you find eager customers for your colorful confections. You actually, my last try for the night, I think I'm done now. I think I'm just gonna have to throw it in and I'm never gonna be able to sell another peep again in my life. Oh dear peep peddler, fear not, there is always hope for success in peep selling endeavors. Perhaps a change in strategy or a different audience. Do not lose heart. The world needs peep enthusiasts like you. Are you getting... What's wrong with these people? Mm, oh, there's so many officers. Well, 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 me. I was surprised to have a swashbuckling pirate on my doorstep. How may I assist you on this fine, adventurous night? I'm a pirate. Arg. How are you? Arg, my pirate friend. I'm doing fantastic. Just here making videos and entertaining the masses. How about you plundering and pillaging the high sea? I've gotten a little off course, see? There's no ocean around here. That's. Wait, a landlocked pirate. That's something you don't see every day. Well, fear not me, matey. There's plenty of adventure to be had on solid ground. Tell me. What brings you to these landlocked shores? A tornado. A tornado doesn't come with me, lad. I knew Mr. East was a knockoff. Elves made a mistake. Uh. This gas mask on my face is not a preferential attire. It's a necessity up in the North Pole now. Kids are weird. Oh, the wonders of science. How fascinating that even Santa himself requires a gas mask in this peculiar time. Tell me, what peculiarities have you encountered on your... The elves made mustard gas. I don't know how... I don't know what else I need to explain to you. We need help. Greetings, fellow tinhead, I must say. Your choice of attire is intriguing. What brings you to my doorstep in the dead of night, might I ask? I had a nightmare, and I, 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 I woke up, and I, I thought I didn't have any friends, and then I didn't have any friends, so I wanted to come over here and make a friend with my neighbor. The corners of the mind can conjure up all sorts of frightening scenarios, but fear not, for I am here for your... Here. For I am here, your neighbor, ready to be your friend. Though I must admit, your choice of wardrobe is rather unconventional. It was, I'm sorry, it wasn't a choice thing. I just like jumped out of bed and I was like, you know what? I want to go, I want to go make a friend. I want a friend. So I went to the first house I saw and it was your house. So I'm really sorry. I need to apologize, my eccentric friend. We all have our moments of spontaneity. I appreciate your enthusiasm and seeking out friendship. Tell me, have you always been drawn to the conspiracy theories that swirl around us? I knew you were the one for me. I love conspiracy theories. Did you hear the one that Disney is a, a, a kneecap? Ah, the Disney conspiracy. A classic. The idea that they control our very kneecaps is truly mind-boggling. Have you heard about their secret underground lair beneath Cinderella's castle? 
You're hiding all sorts of things down there, I tell you. I'm sorry, what? My apologies for getting carried away. Sometimes I forget that not everyone is well versed in the world of conspiracies as I am. But you're not, my friend. I'm here to enlighten you in the hidden truths of this world. What other conspiracy theories have piqued your interest? Well, right now, I'm mostly in, in, interested in, in hearing about that the tunnels, the tunnels underneath Cinderella's castle. What other Disney conspiracies do you know that you're hiding? Ah, the mysterious tunnels under Cinderella's castle. Well, my friend, let me tell you about another Disney conspiracy. Have you ever noticed how some Disney films, like The Lion King and Frozen, seems to have hidden messages and symbols? Some believe it's a way for Disney to manipulate our subconscious minds and control our thought. It's quite fascinating, isn't it? Sometimes I'm just lost for thought. <laughs> juicy. This is juicy. It's like a big old, big old, big old conspiracy steak. Give me more of it. Hammer! Absolutely. Sink your teeth into this conspiracy steak. Did you know that some theorists claim that Walt Disney himself had plans for an experimental city called the Experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow, or Epcot? They say it was meant to be a model society with advanced technology, but it was mysteriously never came to be. Who knows what secrets lie hidden beneath the Disney empire? A banquet of conspiracy just waiting to be devoured. And there it is. What if I were to tell you I got my hands on the super secret blueprint plans? We have those super secret blueprint plans and I simply must invite you in. Let's dive deep into the rabbit hole together and uncover the truth behind Disney clandestine design. Clandestine designs, please. Sure, it's right here. Sink your teeth into it. Initiating final transmission. Garlic breath gives GPS what? Mm. No. I'm stuck. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. I'm trapped, you lost. Excuse me. Ah, Believer. How unexpected. What brings such a peculiar soul to my residence at this ungodly hour? Tell me, if you had to be saved by either like 50 uh, normal sized rabbits or one giant sized bear, who would you choose? I'm sorry, I just... I was trying to just, it was just for fun. I just wanted to have fun with you. I, I understand. It's preposterous. I just, I'm sorry. I'm a believer. You seem to have taken quite a liking to my presence, despite our vast differences in taste and refinement. Very well, I shall indulge you this time in the highly improbable event that I needed saving. I suppose I would opt for the 50 rabbits as their numbers may provide some semblance of strategy and distraction, but please, let us move on to a more sophisticated topic, shall we? What's your favorite film? Ah, the realm of cinema, a realm in which I find solace and delight. As a connoisseur, my favorite film is undoubtedly Le Grand Beleza by Paolo Paolo Sorrentino. What? Why do I not know these things? Its stunning visual style, profound storytelling, and exquisite performances truly make it a masterpiece of modern cinema. I must say, though it may not be everyone's taste. I must admit, I've never seen that one. Uh, I'm truly a fan of um. Film. He gets it. Ah, believer. Why, you may not have witnessed the brilliance of La Grande Beliza, but I can appreciate your interest in film, no matter how unsophisticated it may be. Perhaps I can recommend some lesser-known gems that align with your taste. Who knows? A little guidance. You may one day transcend your current level of film appreciation. I would greatly love that. I would love any any recommendations that you have, any shows, any movies, any films, any books. Music, I want to be like you. Well, Believer finally has to acknowledge the vastness of my cultural expertise very well. I shall graciously bestow upon you some recommendations for film if you the double life of a crystal. Oh my god, I'm not reading all this. I want to get started like right now. I want to get started being like you right now, but I can't go to any of those places and get any of those. Do you have any copies that I might be able to borrow for just the night? Gladly, of course I will. It's just I want to, I'm just so ready to get started tonight. Would you wouldn't want to maybe watch one of them or something, would you? Hey, won't let me talk anymore. 
I thought he kicked me out much sooner than that. All right, that's what we're going to call it for this part of Suck Up. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Uh, we will be back with more of it. I really like this game. The AI and it's funny. Um, it's cracking me up a lot. There's a lot to it. 31 doesn't seem like a lot of people, but I mean, I think I just broke 10. I'm not even being chased. It's just freaking out. It's just freaking out. But that's what we're going to call it for this part of Suck Up. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, you can do the YouTube things. You can like it. You can subscribe. You can comment. You can share the video. You can do whatever you want. My other socials are in the description down below. You can follow those. You can follow my Twitch. I stream on there. Uh, more often than I post videos. I try to do every day, but it's not really every day. It's 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 it's, it's been lesser lately. But you can dislike the video if you want to. It, it's whatever you want to do. It's your life. I do this purely for fun because I enjoy it. But I do hope you like the video. Stay safe. Peace out, yo gamers. Boom.